Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different tech tips and how to become a work from home freelancer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can bulk create for social media using Canva Pro. Now this is a different method than other methods I've taught you in the past, because in this tutorial, we're going to do everything directly within Canva. And I'm also going to show you how you can bulk add custom images and backgrounds. In my previous tutorials using Bulk Create and Canva, we had to change each background individually. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can bulk add images and backgrounds. So first of all, you will need Canva Pro. If you don't already have Canva Pro, you can sign up using my referral link in the description below. So the first thing we want to do is create a template and then we are going to go ahead and use the bulk create afterwards. If you already have a template you want to use, just skip ahead to the bulk create part. You can look at the chapters in the description of this video. So once we open up Canva, we're going to click here on templates. Now you could create your own template or you can choose one. You can click on templates at the side here and then click social media. And let's say you want to do an Instagram post, you can click on that and just find one that you like. So I found this one here and I want to edit it a little bit so it matches my brand. So I'm just going to click here on customize this template. So let's say I have an Instagram page related to nostalgia and retro technology, which I love. So let's say I want to bulk create content uh, talking about different nostalgic sort of tech items. And again, you can use this bulk create for any niche whatsoever. So I'm going to change this up a bit. I just want to quickly show you how. So to delete any elements you don't want, just click on the element and then press delete. So I'm just going to delete these pictures because we're going to create our own frames later on. I'm going to change the color scheme. So just click on the element you want to change the color of, and then you can just click on whatever color you want. So let's say I make this black background. So now we're going to change the text. Now this is important because when we are bulk creating, you want to make sure that the text will go onto the screen and will fit well, so you don't have to go ahead and adjust it. So for this example, I want to do a bulk creation of different tech items. So right here will be the title of the you know throwback item. So let's put, for example, tech item name. And then just drag these little handles here so that the text will fill and won't go beyond this space, okay? Uh, and now to change the text, you can just click on it and then click here. And we're going to change this to, I'm actually going to click this button here so that it's going to be upper case. Okay, and now the second one, we can change the text again. So to increase the text size, just click on it and then you can just increase it to whatever size you want. Once again, adjust the bars here of the little text box. And at the bottom, you can put your logo or let's say your handle for your social media name. So let's say retro tech throwbacks. And let's say I want to add one more text box. I want to duplicate this. I'm going to right click, duplicate, and then once again, adjust it. And I'm going to put a year. Okay, so now we're going to add frames. So this is where we're going to be able to bulk add images. What we're going to do is click here on elements and we're going to type in frame and then see all. You can see there are many different frames to choose from. I'm gonna click on this one here. I'm gonna drag it down to the bottom, something like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this square frame here. Now, pay attention to this part, okay? First of all, I'm going to change my background color. I'm going to change this to, let's say, a really dark gray, okay? Now, I'm going to take this frame and I'm going to adjust it so that it fills the entire image because we're going to make this a background image, a custom background image. We're going to right click on this and then click layer send to back okay now what we're going to do is click here on transparency and we're going to actually adjust it down a bit because we want it to be a little bit transparent so whatever background color you've chosen it'll give it that sort of tint okay another thing we can do to make this image stand out is click on the frame and then click here to add a border so we're going to just add a little 
like a slight little border like that. You can change the color if you want as well. Let's just do something like that. Okay, so now we are ready to bulk create. So now we're going to go to canva.com slash sheets and then click create a sheet. So we're going to get all of the content for our social media posts directly within Canva. We don't need to use ChatGPT or any other AI tool. So we know based on the template I've created, I want a tech item, I want a fun fact, the year it was popular, and then of course the pictures. So what we're going to do is go to our sheet and I'm going to put nostalgic tech item for the first column. This will be the title. And then the next one, year popular, and then fun fact. So I'm just going to give the AI tool an example of what I mean by a nostalgic tech item. So let's put in cassette player. Now you could put in all the information you want or you could have um, this tool generate it for you. So we're going to do 20 facts. So what I'm going to do is click on A1 and drag, so down to 20 or 21. And I'm going to click actions and then click fill empty cells. So whatever you have put in for your titles, the AI is going to automatically fill it with other tech items, the year it was popular, and then a fun fact about it. So you can do this with any niche whatsoever. So you can see here it's generating. And what you can do is click more like this. You can say this, but let's say I wanted it to only be related to video games or only uh, tech items from the 90s and the 80s. But I'm happy with this as it is. So I'm just going to click the back button and then click insert. Okay, so here we have our different items. That's great. And now we're going to add our pictures. Now for this one, for the design, I'm just going to use one picture for each item. And it's so easy to add them because we can do this directly within Canva. What we'll do is click on elements and I'm going to type in cassette player. And all you have to do to add the image to this spreadsheet is just click on the cell in the row with your item. And let's say for example, I'll click here on photo, see all. And then I just click. And that has instantly added it. You can also drag and drop it. However, I think it's easier just to click. So even though you have to type in manually each picture, it's so fast. I mean, look how quickly I can do this. You just floppy disk. And you just click and it's in. So you just go through and type in, you know, Game Boy or whatever. Click. Polaroid. Pager. And that's all you have to do. And honestly, it shouldn't take you more than 15 seconds or 10 seconds per image. It's so fast. Again, you can also drag and drop if you want. So let's say I was going to use this picture. I just click and drag. And then when you see that little purple sort of highlighted uh, in the cell, just release your mouse and it's in. But I think it's easier just to click and then type what you want. Just like that. So just go through until you finish all the images. So once you've added all your images, what we're going to do is click once again on A1 and drag. So we have everything highlighted. Now we're going to click on actions again and then scroll down till we get to bulk create. And again, this is a pro feature. So click on that and now we're going to click continue. So now we have to choose our template. So choose the one that you already created. So in our case, it was this one here. You might want to give it a title so it's easier to find. And you can do that by clicking here and renaming it. But I know it's this one here, so I'm just going to click on that. Okay, so this is very important. Now we're going to connect the data. Okay, so where it says tech item name, this is where I want to connect the nostalgic tech item. So this, we're going to right click, connect data, and then click on the title. 
So that has now been connected. The fun fact, I'll click on the fun fact, right click, connect data, fun fact. Okay, now year, right click, connect data, year popular. Okay, now it's, we're going to do the image as well. So we're going to do this twice. First, we're going to click here, right click, connect data, and we're going to click on images. And now, remember this background image that we created. I want to make this the same as this. Okay, so it's going to create a cool background that's a little bit transparent and zoomed up, and then we'll see the actual image here as well. So I'm going to click on the background, which is the frame that we already have created. Right click, connect data, and I'm just going to click on the same image, okay? So we're ready to go here. What we can do now is we can click Create 19 Designs or click on Advanced Options. And you can choose if you want your output to be 19 individual designs or multiple pages in one design. I prefer this option here, and that way they're easier to edit rather than having to open up individual designs. So you can also choose where you'd like to save it or just in the default folder. Okay, and now click Create Design. So you can see here that it has just bulk created all of these images. So to open it up, I'm just going to double click on this here and boom, just like that, it has imported all of our information. You can see our cassette player, got our floppy disk, the Game Boy, Polaroid camera, and you can see that it has custom edited both the background and the image, which looks super cool, okay? Because it gives it a different look for each one. So it's not like I'm just mass producing the same background, everything the exact same but the text. Each one looks different because the backgrounds are different. So if you want to make any edits to this, what you can do, for example, is double click on the image and let's say you wanted to, you know, make this a little bit bigger or whatever, you could do that. But because of how we have bulk created it and how we set the text box and everything else, you can see I don't really have many adjustments that are needed. And remember how we added this transparency. So, you know, you can just play around with this as well if you wanted to see the background image a bit more or not. And this is something you can have a lot of fun with. You can add, you know, a different background color if you wanted to give it, you know, a different sort of look. Um, this is just something you can experiment with. But overall, just by using the bulk feature, we've been able to create um, 20 different posts that are all very unique looking, especially because we have a custom image and a custom background. So once you're finished editing these, what you can do is export them by clicking share and then click download. And then you can download it as a PNG file and you can download all the pages together or you can individually download them and then just click done and then click download. So once you download that, it will be a zip file and you will have all of your social media posts ready to go and ready to post on your social media accounts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want other tutorials similar to this, teaching you how to do different types of social media posts, videos, and so on and so forth, let me know in the comment section. I hope you guys have fun with this. I know I certainly did and I'm really looking forward to using this um, with different projects that I have. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.